Hi, I'm Daniel Heinerfeld with NRDC in Santa Monica, California. I'm standing in front of a Petco, and earlier today I went in and bought these three flea and tick collars. Each one of these contains a chemical called Propoxer, which is carcinogenic. The problem with this is that a lot of people are going in and uh, buying these products, putting them on their pets, not realizing that this product is meant to spread all over the coat of your cat or dog, and that when you then pat your cat or dog, you get it on your hands. We actually did testing on dogs and cats that were wearing flea collars and discovered that the residues were high enough to pose a real health threat to young children especially and even to adults that like to cuddle and spend a lot of time with their pets. The chemicals that are used in the most hazardous flea control products are of particular concern for two reasons. One is that some of them are strongly linked to cancer and the other is that some of them interfere with the nervous system and brain. Children are at particularly high risk from pesticides, such as chemicals in flea collars. And that's because they'll snuggle with the dog or the cat, and then their hands will go right in their mouths. It can alter their brain development in a way that could give them problems in school or problems in their future lives. I have extreme concerns about flea and tick collars as well as any other flea, flea baths and flea um, ointments. I think if these chemicals are sold, they should definitely warn people, but I don't think these chemicals should be sold. I think any, any retailer that's actually selling things that can harm not only the animals but the people are being irresponsible. I believe that really dangerous chemicals need to be banned from products. And we have asked the EPA in a formal petition to ban the two worst chemicals, tetrachlorophenphos and propoxer, from flea products. Under California law, you have to disclose the fact that you're selling a product that's either carcinogenic or that causes reproductive harm. If you don't, you're in violation of Proposition 65. If there's litigation pending and, and they're breaking the law in violation of a proposition, then I think these companies should be punished. And they can't get away with it. They shouldn't be able to get away with it. Animal lovers can easily take care of most flea and tick problems without any chemicals at all. What I do is bathe them more often in a gentle, non-toxic shampoo or soap, and, and usually just water will get the fleas off and comb them out. And I keep the house and the area clean, but I don't use any pesticides. But from time to time, some chemicals are um, necessary, and that's where our website greenpaws.org can be super helpful. There's a really straightforward guide to pet products and allows you to look them up and it will rate the product. So it's greenpaws.org is a great resource. But a lot of people who have pets just go to PetSmart and buy the flea collar. They don't really think about it. They don't read it. They put it on the dog. They take their dog for a walk around the block and that's about the end of it. And they're not really thinking about the long-term effects. Um, and so I think for the average person, there has to be a bigger sign saying this could be harmful to your animal. they got to be pretty forthright about, uh, about how dangerous the stuff is for, for the pets and for the humans, obviously. It's bad.